All right, now we're going to solder in the bits, the pots in position. So we're going to change out, I've already removed the, in this case it was a 22K resistor, the bias. So we're going to change that cap out for a new one. And then the resistor coming from the negative usually gets soldered across here to the cap. So I'm putting a new 27K resistor from here to this leg of the pot here. And then we'll remove the power from here that goes over to this lug here. And that will go to that lug there. And then a cable from here will go to the center of this pot. So I hope I can make that clear. So let's start it. Start removing. All the caps in this amp have been discharged as well, so no danger of any shocks. So let's get this solder flowing. Here, let's just clean these holes out. to use solder wick for this but I haven't got any left so this is all I have so I've got to get some more of that let's clean the solder sucker out yeah good so we can get a nice solid connection remember that the positive positive end of the capacitor goes to ground because this is for negative voltage okay this is 70 microfarad and 100 100 volts I'm putting in 100 microfarad 100 volts don't get the polarity of the cap wrong or it's going to be not a pleasant experience that so we get that cap ready to go in that's the negative wire there so don't ever leave that out do this let's get a nice solid connection there that will bend it up over each other below nice neat job if possible always test fit it before you cut the leads fine right, I'll bring you back when I just get set up I'm going to clip the leads off and get the resistor ready so let's get this in here it's a bit difficult moment in time with the camera but what we can do now, solder that first, this end first, so that's it, so that's what it'll do. Let's get a bit more tension, let's hold itself in. There we go. What I like to 
do a nice, nice neat job. So, and it can do with it one, even if it's a bit wonky, it's still going to do the same job. So I just like to do a nice neat job. Nice soldering that. Always let it run. Prepare this resistor. This is a 27k resistor. The original one had 22k. The schematic says it should be a 27k. Um, I tried it even with a 33k in, and the bias was still the it was still too high. We're running too hot, so it's better better to have an adjustable bias. People will disagree with me on that, but everyone's got their own their own ways of doing things, I suppose. So let's get that in there. into the pot first. I'll just snip it off later on. That'll help. That's it. All you can do is just bend it out of the way. Let's get that soldered in first. Make sure that's nicely in as well. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So it's good to have it all clean as well. So basically it's giving it a salt there on this side just to pour it in. Make sure you get it running nicely and not too much. Just make sure it all runs. That's the one. I'll bring it a bit closer in a minute so you can see. Like that, just move that. So you've got a bit of a gap. There you go. Lighter if you want. So this shrink wrap just, you know, just do what it's supposed to do. That's nice. And then I'm served here. You've got a nice mechanical connection. So just bring it up. Shoulder on snip. Gotta get some new solder as well. Same as this. You don't too much solder, just make sure it flows. That's it. Then That's it. Nice, nicely in there, caps in there. Now we we'll just do our bit more wiring. So we have to remove this wire here, which is the power coming in. Because usually bigger transformers have a tap on the transformer for the voltage, but in this other Princeton's take it from one half of the AC. It comes over here, through the resistor there, to drop the voltage down a bit, and through the diode. Alright, let's get this out of here. Hopefully you should not be able to see what I'm doing. It's difficult with the camera. Yeah. This is such a great. So you've got to decide how you, if you want to keep the wires the same length. You can bend them up like that. This one will go, as you can see, so you don't have to alter it. So you could actually, if you wanted to put it back to how it was before, you could. Another thing is the. Um, if you bend it, bend the wires, you get a nice, that lovely mechanical connection. That's what you're after. So that's soldered. I'll bring you right close to the camera in here so you can see the soldering joints there. That's good. 
Nice. So now we're able to cut that wire. So what we're going to do then is take a wire from here to the middle part. The part. And then that's that done. And we can bias up the amp. Right, I'm just going to go and cut myself some wire. I'll be back. Right, this is the last one. So make sure you get a nice mechanical connection on this again. And they get a nice bent over mechanical connection down there. Right, that's nice. So basically, now let's solder it. A little bit of it to power it up. So, first of all, let's get in there. I don't know if from do it this way even though it's a bit difficult so you can see Sorry about that. Just trying to zoom in as possible. And there she is. Also, as you can see there, one ohm resistors on pin eight to ground. So you can measure the current through each of the tubes. Um, then once it's done, you can take them off, put the earth back on, to, or you can leave them there. And I just soldered straight to the strap because I'm going to put it back to where it was. But you can just remove the strap and solder the, the straight from pin eight to ground. So, all right, be back later on with. Biasing it all up. Cheers. I've had the apple for five minutes to warm up, so let's try it out. Through the one, uh, one ohm resistor, tube one, it's about 24.2 milliamps. Tube two is 24. 24.3 say. So it's a bit high, but only about 20 on this. So let's adjust our pot the other way until we get to around. So any that's fine. Let's see about this one. Yeah, that's fine. Absolutely perfectly matched. So, let's do the sums. Now we need to check. So, we have... Say 20. So, it's 19.8. That's 20 on that one. 20 on that one. So, we can do the multiplications. Alright, let's test the plate voltage. 415 on that one. 415 on that one. So we're really close. So multiply time. Let's get the calculator. So we've got. You can see that. 
20 milliamps times 415 so we've got about 8.30 so that's just under 70 percent so I would say that's perfect 840 is 70% of 12 watts that 66v6 can give. So as you can see, really, really easy now to bias up. So she's ready. Hope this video is going to help people out. You can see now the one ohm resistors that I'm going to be taking out, putting back as they were. As I do have a bias probe, so I don't need to have them in. It was just to show people who don't have a bias probe will just have a simple multimeter can just test the current through the tubes. Right, cheers.